Hi, this is Dungeon RPG, and today I have a special and very exciting unboxing review for you guys. And this is the Nandroid figure of Red from Pokemon. You might remember that I did an introduction slash preview video for this figure when it was first announced back in May, and that's when I pre-ordered this because, because this was only sold at Pokemon Center stores in Japan, and of course you can also buy it at the Pokemon Center's online store on Amazon Japan, which is where I bought this. And the front of the box gives you this nice window where you can see its content. Of course we have the red, that's the main body of the Nandroid figure. And we also have a Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. And you might be able to make out in the corner there, there's a tiny little Pokeball and a Master Ball as well. And just below that we have a little backpack, two additional face plates, and some of the other accessories. And on the front of the box it says, uh, Fushikina Ikimono Getoke Action Figure. So it is like the capturing mysterious leave capturing mysterious living creature type action figure, if you will. That's a really roundabout way of saying what Pokemon is. So here's the front of the box. And on the top, it's number 425 in the Nandri series made by GSC. The side of the box. The other side basically showing different poses. And more of the different poses at the back. And uh, like I mentioned before, this is the red from uh, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Not the original design of red that was seen in red, blue, green, and yellow. And some other information on the bottom here. And the bottom of the box here shows red was the three starters. I'm not sure about you guys, but I can't wait to open this up, so let's see what's inside. And a simple instruction showing you all the different parts, they're all lettered. And it tells you how to assemble them. Here's the main body of the figure red. And these plastic films are used to tell you which parts can be separated. So you can see there's one between the, his torso and his legs, so you can pull this out safely. Like so. There's also one here under his cap, so let's uh, separate that one. And this is how you exchange for the different face plates, I guess. And there's articulation for both of his arms. So you can raise and lower them. And head turns 360, wow. And it can wobble forward and back as well. It's really cute. And uh, each of the legs also turns 360 individually. And they have this, um, they have about this much articulation in front and back. And according to the instruction, he can really stand on his own because this is really top heavy. Now let's take a look at uh, what we have here: Bulbasaur, Miawa Jones, Skidane. It has all the details you will want on a tiny little figure like this. And, uh, no writings on any of it, unlike the Monster Collection figures in Bulbasaur. And here we have Charmander, Xiaoholong, Hitokage. And the tail is not a translucent part, but it's solid. And it has, it has these, uh, it has this really cute underside of his of his feet. And of course we have Squirtle, Zenigui, Zenigame. And cute little tail. I 
and we have a tiny little poke bowl and a tiny little master bowl and a tiny little arm parts that come with a peg and that's meant to peg into these uh, optional holes on the poke bowl or the master bowl like so and another another arm with a different pose And now we'll take a look at the backpack. It has a tiny little Versa Seeker on the left strap. And it's called Battle Searcher in Japan, I think. You... And it's just molded in with the strap, you can't really remove it. And the straps do come off the backpack. And this is how you're gonna put it on red. It's to put the straps over him first. And, and take the backpack just pins to his back like so. I think the hole here at the back of his backpack is meant for the stand. And we got a tiny little finger pointing hand like that. And also one holding a Pokédex. So just super tiny. And a additional bending leg. Supposedly that will help him in getting into better poses. Here's a pose of him putting his arm in his pocket and the other one holding a Pokeball kind of pose. And here's one with him readying for some action. And this one he's just holding the Pokedex looking all happy. And it comes with just a standard Android stand which you can assemble. And this is going to help him stand much better, like it makes a world of difference. So that's it for a quick unboxing and review of everyone's favorite protagonist from Pokemon Red from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Overall, it's a cute little figure, very nicely detailed with lots of optional swappable parts for you to play with. But it is quite pricey and that is the biggest downside of this for me. And so I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching this review of uh, the Nandroid of Red from Pokemon and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Take care.